In this key concept video, I'm going to talk about using numerical solve or n solve for short in your graphics calculator. A very, very handy tool when solving algebraic equations. Okay, I'm going to use this particular question here, question C out of the mathematical models uh, question bank as an example. So we have this particular function here, which is the uh, GDP. I'm not don't worry too much about the question specifics. I'm just going to set up an algebraic equation and then show how to solve it. So I've got the GDP, which equals this particular equation here. And question C asks, how long will it be, t's in years, until this GDP is equal to 100,000? So setting up an equation, it looks like 100,000 equals the right-hand side. So 1,806 multiplied by 1.037 to the power of t. Again, don't worry too much about how I got there. I just want to now focus on this particular equation here. I want to solve for t. Now this is a bit of a difficult one because t is on the power. You could potentially use logs. However, sometimes that isn't taught yet. There's a few different ways you could solve it. You could maybe solve it graphically. However, there's a quite a handy tool in the calculator called nSolve, which I'm going to show you now. So bring the calculator up, just open up to a scratch pad. Now go menu, number three, algebra, number one, numerical solve or n solve for short. Okay, now we just enter the equation directly. So 100,000 equals this equal sign up here, 1,806 multiplied by brackets, one point zero three seven all to the power of now key point here whenever you use your calculator both in the scratch pad section or the graphing section I recommend using the variable X as opposed to other variables like T um, it yeah it's just good practice the, the calculator performs well when X is used as the variable now tab out of the power now the, the next point is important we need to tell the calculator which variable we are solving for even though there's only one variable in this equation. But to do that, we go comma, the syntax is comma x, the variable. So that's set up there. <coughs> Just hit enter, and it tells us the answer. In our case here, this, the solution for t, when we're solving this equation here for t, will equal 110.48. So that's pretty good, that's pretty quick. Um, otherwise, that would take a number of lines of working. Now, one word of warning for nSolve, it will only give you the one solution going from left to right. So for example, if there are multiple solutions to a function, so let's say a function looks like this, and we want to find when it intersects with this horizontal line, using nSolve will only give the left one. So just be, just, just be careful using it, um, that you may miss some solutions. And if it is a graph that is either a, uh, to the power of 2, a quadratic, so x to the 2, or x to the 3, or higher, I recommend probably graphing it. However, if it's just like an exponential, just an exponential like that, or down, n solve is a good method, or a linear line for that matter as well. Okay, that's the key concept video on using n solve. Have a go at some of these questions in the mathematical models question bank section.